Hello, it's Jackie Green from GA Interior Solutions, where we are helping build a stronger design community through professional training and educational resources. Today I have a quick tutorial on how to add tools to your toolbar in SketchUp Pro. When first learning SketchUp, your SketchUp window may look like this. You have the menu items at the top with the graphic icons of different tools. To the right, you have the default tray. Conveniently, SketchUp allows you to customize the graphic toolbar with various tools. In this short video, you will learn how to add tools to your SketchUp Pro toolbar, as well as how to move the tools around. Once you customize your bar, moving forward, the bar will be set to your selected tools. Each model you open or start, the toolbar should remain the same. This saves you time from having to customize each time you open a new project, as well as helps you become quicker at finding and using various SketchUp tools. You most likely want to add tools that you use often, such as views. There are two ways to add tools to the toolbar. My favorite way, and the quickest, is to hold my cursor over the gray area in the bar, right-click, and select the tool I want such as views. From this list, I like to show views, section, and cameras. We cover all of these tools in our online course for SketchUp beginners. You can visit our website to learn more. As I select each tool, a check appears next to them and is now appears in the toolbar. I can move them around simply by left clicking and holding the left button down as I move. I like to see everything in one row, but you can add a second row if you'd like, as well as being able to pull down the tool into your model space. The second way you can add tools to your toolbar is by going to the view menu and selecting toolbars a pop-up appears and you can select the tools you want to add or remove. Also notice there are two tabs in this pop-up. The first are the tools that can be selected, which you have several options. The second tab is an option which gives you a bit more customization. Notice if I unclick the large icon, my toolbar icons get smaller. If I recheck it, they go back to the larger size. To get out of the screen, I can just select Close. This now concludes this video on adding tools to your SketchUp toolbar. Thank you for joining. I cover this topic in greater detail in our SketchUp for Beginners course. You can get a sneak peek of the course by visiting our website at gainteriorsolutions.com. You can also sign up for free access to our library of tips and tutorials on using SketchUp. Access to the library is completely free, and we are adding more helpful resources every week. And as always, feel free to subscribe to our channel and share it with others.